What up, it's your girl Minna. And in this video, I'm gonna be answering the questions that you have asked me on my IG stories. Now, it's been a long time coming, but you know your girl's busy, but I got you. So I'm gonna do my best to answer these skincare questions that you have. I'm a skincare enthusiast. I have not been trained in this area, but if we're being honest, I haven't been trained in makeup artistry either. I'm self-taught in that. I'm self-taught in editing videos. I'm self-taught in everything that I do. All of this stuff that I do online, every last bit of it, self-taught. But I have picked up some knowledge about skincare along the way because I really, really do love skincare. The state of my skin matters to me. It's not just about putting on makeup and looking good. You gotta put it on something that looks good. So I'm gonna use what I've learned to answer your questions. And if I can't answer it, I'll just tell you that I can't. And I'll give you some suggestions on folks that I follow that help me to learn more. But I want you to understand that it's important for you to have a dermatologist. Don't just feel like you're gonna solve your skin issues just by following influencers and doing what we say. I recommend strongly that you seek out a dermatologist. I have one, okay? Glad you're here. Give the video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed and let's get started. How do I minimize pores? Is it even possible? So I used to make this misstep and I know I've made that misstep even in my Fenty video, but the fact is that you see things and you see products where it says pore minimizing, but the reality that I've learned is that you cannot minimize your pores. They are what they are. So if your pores are enlarged, you may want to focus on clearing them out, cleaning them out, focusing on acids to help clean out the pores, clear them up. It might be looking a lot larger because it's filled with gunk. Otherwise, the pores are just what they are. You may be able to put a foundation on top that'll conceal them a little bit, but that might make them look a little blurred but the pores are just what they are but if you feel irritated by your pores or they just look too large for you I would focus on making sure that they are clean you want to make sure your pores are clean okay so that's cleansing every day cleansing morning and night double cleansing so starting with a cleansing balm then a cleanser then you want to move into your skincare routine exfoliating perhaps every other day or twice a week depending on your skin sensitivities you want to make sure you're keeping your pores as clean as possible is glycolic acid good for skin of color so glycolic acid lactic acid <laughs> all these different acids I'm still learning to be able to differentiate them without having to google it but from what I understand, glycolic acid is like an intro kind of acid. I've used products that have glycolic acid in them. So is it good for skin of color? At least in my experience. The fact is skincare is personal. So what works for me might not work for you, but if it does, then that's amazing. But you gotta try different things out to see what your skin responds to. But of course, if you have any skin sensitivities, concerns, you don't know where to begin, I would say start with a dermatologist. In case you have cystic acne, rosacea, which is what I have, or anything else, you wanna just have some direction before you just jump into all of this. I do wanna point out that there is a difference between a reaction and an irritation. I wasn't aware of this when I first started. So an, a reaction is something that goes away. So let's say you put on a chemical peel or a serum and you feel a sting on your face. That happens to me sometimes. If it goes away, then fine. And that's a reaction. An irritation stays, it lingers. So perhaps it keeps burning and it doesn't go away. That's not a good thing. Or perhaps you've put it on and then now a few days later you have broken out on a rash. Now what I'm learning too about that is that it could be an irritation or it could be skin purging. It's just so interesting because I get a lot of skin questions because my skin it looks pretty good. I have very sensitive skin. What products would you recommend? Okay, well, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, because I wouldn't consider my skin sensitive, although if I have rosacea, I guess technically it's called sensitive. The reason why I wouldn't call my skin sensitive is because I use lots of different products. I get scent a lot, which praise God, I'm very thrilled about. I'm able to try them and with minimal irritations, I'm able to try a lot of different things. So that's why I wouldn't consider my skin sensitive. But girl, let me tell you right now, you can't follow someone like me that's trying something new every few weeks you really have got to get a dermatologist and find out what he or she is talking about because I can't tell you I don't know pore reducing products or at-home remedies to reduce pores back to the first question girl ain't no way ain't no way to reduce money child ain't no way it ain't gonna happen keep the pores clean that's all I can tell you. Hello, auntie. What is the best steps for skincare? What? <laughs> Yo, when y'all call me auntie, I'm dead. I'm floored. Like, what? How? Okay, what's the best dry skin routine is what they're saying. I have dehydrated skin, which sometimes turns into dry skin based on an irritation from a product. 
so I'm de I'm dry, dehydrated. So you can follow my skincare routine. I have videos on IGTV and here on YouTube. Make sure you watch them. But the main thing I want to tell you is focus on hydration period. Make sure everything you're using is gentle, is hydrating. That's what you want to focus on for dry skin. But make sure you watch my skincare routine videos. Taking care of your skin is very important if you want your makeup to look good. Your makeup is not going to look good if your skin is not well taken care of. It's just not. What products do you recommend to help get rid of dark marks and acne scarring? Okay, I get that question a lot because I have had dark marks. Doc, I can't talk. Dark marks? Yeah, I gotta use my eyes. I can't. It's just too much. I have had dark marks on my chin because of pimples so that is called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation PIH the dark marks are a result of the acne so to me if you take care of what is causing the acne then you are going to inevitably take care of the PIH you're not gonna have dark marks if you don't get the acne at least in my case so the acne treatment that I use is a clindamycin lotion that I got from my dermatologist and I also have this other concoction from Curology it's that clindamycin lotion plus niacinamide which helps fade dark marks plus tretinoin tretinoin which is a retinol all three of them powerful that thing is strong it works so when I use that I use it like once a week I mean it's strong okay it's so strong that my irritation that I get from that that is peeling but I actually enjoy the peeling because then when I exfoliate oh my skin is what baby smooth so I don't actually mind that irritation but it is a sign of irritation so to fade the dark marks you want to make sure you're using certain uh, serums that are gonna treat the dark mark dark dark marks I can't even do it I gotta just the dark marks okay niacinamide is one that I hear is very good you want to use retinol retinol is very strong you might experience irritation with that you might ex experience over dryness as a result I did that when I first started using retinol I was doing it every night my skin got very dry okay so every few days is great maybe once a week depends on your skin a lot of this you're gonna have to do trial and error you have to do trial and error there's no one size fits all when it comes to skincare that is what I have learned for real some of you might want to use salicylic acid which is for acne but when I used it I think I did I break out I don't know but salicylic this is a years ago set for my dermatologist salicylic acid however does dry the skin so it's gonna dry out those pores to get that pus down from the acne and like whatever else it does so you're gonna feel real dry and one thing i also want to note too is when you're with your skincare especially the treatments the acids i've learned that you really want to target so you don't have to put you know salicylic acid or a bha or an aha all over your face you can put it just where you have the issues so i'm learning now with my acne treatment not to put it everywhere because yo my nose the corners everything was peeling but i break out with rosacea on my forehead and my cheeks and my chin so i'm gonna just focus on that because yo that's stuff is strong but it works what cream are you using after the skincare routine to avoid pimples okay that's my acne treatment that is my acne treatment so the acne treatment targets the acne to make sure that it's at bay it ain't flaring up or if it does flare up that it goes right back down how do I achieve a fine and close to fine skin texture you want your skin to be smooth exfoliate use acids okay so we're gonna hydrate your skin make sure it's not dry make sure it's not scaly make sure it's not rough and bumpy if you have acne problems you want to treat that talk to your dermatologist about that to see whatever he or she recommends sun exposure is something you want to really be careful about as well wearing your SPF will be very helpful but if you're out in the sun a lot that could be flaring things up for you again you want to make sure you see your dermatologist I have a pimple all over my face what can I use for it acne treatment how many times do you think one should exfoliate in a week depends on your skin skincare is personal I used to do every other day but I was feeling really dry so I do every other other day what can I use for uneven skin okay well focus on hydration get yourself some serums vitamin C in the morning retinol at night you know maybe you want to do once a week to start off with either of those and then you can increase it if you feel like your skin is as is responding well to it niacinamide is something you want you might want to try as well but uneven I think you're talking about the tone like the color of your skin I'm not sure if you're talking about the texture of the skin when it comes to the texture. I don't know what the texture is. I don't know if it's acne, if it's eczema. I don't know any of that stuff, but the dermatologist is gonna know. Do you wash your face with a cleanser before applying an exfoliate or a mask? Okay, so it depends on the mask. If it's a mask that you wash off and then it says to moisturize afterward, then I'm going to cleanse beforehand. Okay, if it's called a mask, it depends because if I was thinking of a peel, a chemical peel, you obviously 
obviously will rinse off and then I wash my face. If it's a mask, it usually is a rinse off and then you go in with your skincare. So just read the back of it. If I'm gonna use the spin brush to exfoliate, which is very gentle, then I'm actually gonna use a cleanser on the brush with water and that'll be my exfoliation. If I'm going to exfoliate with a, a scrub, like a black sugar scrub from Skin Food, then I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna wash my face. If I'm gonna exfoliate with a chemical peel, then I'm gonna do that and then wash my face. You know. Have you ever suffered with acne? Yes, I have. Rosacea, got it second year grad school. I don't know where it came from. It just happened and it's chronic. It's never gonna go away. So the medicine is something that I'm gonna be using forever. And that's fine. It's just like putting on a lotion, but it's very, very strong. It works very, very well. So what do you recommend for eczema prone skin to help keep the flare ups down? Well, on the body, I use Vanny cream and I also have a steroid. On my body, I use beta methasone. It is strong. It even smells strong. It's a steroid. I use it only as needed but to calm my skin down with the flare-ups. I use Vanny cream on my chest because that's where the flare-ups happen, the chest and the back. So that's what I've been using and if you've noticed my skin has really cleared up. People, people on Instagram have definitely noticed it. Can you explain the results you get using the Fenty skincare products? Well I used it, I tried it out for the video and I gave it away. And the only reason why I did that is just because I wanted to share the love. I also noted in my video that that line is not for or in my opinion, anyone that has dry skin. That line, in my opinion, is for someone that has oily skin. What cleanser would I recommend for sensitive combination skin? Sensitive combination, what does that mean? <laughs> in general, you wanna use a gentle cleanser. When I was a teenager, I used to use foaming cleansers that would literally make my face feel dry once I finished washing it, and I thought that that was the right thing to do. But that is not the case. Make sure you're using a gentle cleanser. It's gonna clean your skin, but not leave you feeling dry. You're gonna feel dry, obviously, because you just washed your face, but you don't wanna feel like stripped clean after you wash your face, you know? Depending on what you wanna spend, then you can decide on what works best for you. Eye cream, is it supposed to burn? <laughs> No, it's not supposed to burn. I wonder if you made your eyes a little sensitive by putting an acid on it accidentally. That did happen to you one time. I don't know what it was. I think it was, I think I know what it was. I put on my acne treatment, which is very strong. It shouldn't go around the eye. And then I put on my eye treatment. So using the same fingers, the acne treatment did get under my eye and then it was burning and it was itching and then it was dark and then it, it peeled off. I had to gently exfoliate under my eye. When I'm gonna do my acne treatment, I do my eye cream and then the treatment so that I'm done touching the eyes. So that is one thing that I've been doing. Now, if it's not that and it's just burning you in general, take a, use a different product. What's your overall skincare routine? So many videos, IGTV, YouTube, watch them. And my IG stories, make sure you're watching them every single day. I'm showing all of this stuff all the time. What's an easy daytime and nighttime routine for a beginner? <laughs> well. No matter who you are, you're gonna need to do a cleanser, but if you're wearing makeup, you're gonna wanna do a cleansing balm. So let's, here we go, let's count. Cleansing balm to break down the makeup, rinse it off. Cleanser to wash your face. Then you wanna do uh, an essence or a toner. You don't have to, but I like to, to make sure your skin doesn't get dry from, from the immediate washing of it. Then you wanna do your serum. So your serum could be vitamin C in the morning or retinol at night. Be easy, start once a week, build up, you know? And in between then, it can be a hydrating serum like hyaluronic acid or nice something like that. Then you wanna do your eye cream. Then you wanna use, we're already at six, a five. Then you wanna use your moisturizer with SPF in the morning or something very thick and hydrating overnight. So you already are at six things. I don't know how to make that easier. That's just what it's gonna be. But doing it doesn't have to take so long. I mean, it's really fast, unless you really wanna make a whole deal out of it and put a steamer on and turn on some music, light a candle, make it a whole zhuzh. That's what I do because it's self-care. You can do all of this fairly quickly. Can't be lazy. Get rid of dark circles. Okay, I don't have an issue with dark circles, but I have heard of the Ulla Henriksen banana cream being good. I don't know because I don't have that problem. Find someone who's an influencer who has dark circles and see what they're doing. Fine lines. Okay, well, we want to make those lines more supple. So you want to focus on the hydration. Okay, so the hydration is going to come from obviously your gentle cleanser, your serums. I'm actually going to commit to doing more masks because they're really fun. And again, hydration, hydration, hydration. How do you brighten? visible sunburn marks, especially on my nose, huh? Okay, well, I need to make sure you're wearing SPF every single day, even when you're inside, because the sun does come through the window. You know, give us daylight. Girl, no, Vaseline, petroleum jelly, I have no idea. 
What helps with redness on the skin? Hmm. Is it from being flushed? Is it from your blood flowing through your body? Because if that's the case, I can't imagine that nothing will help that except maybe if you're working out, stop. Or if you're getting upset, calm down. If you're getting anxiety, calm down. You know, I don't know what is causing the redness. Rosacea does, it is accompanied by redness. Although on my skin, you don't really see the redness. So if it's rosacea, then you need an acne treatment. I don't know. I don't know. Dermatologist. <laughs> What should I buy to help with textured skin on my nose? It sounds like you might want to be exfoliating. The nose does get gunky. The nose under the lip does as well. So make sure you really focus on those areas when you're exfoliating because even for me, I'm like, ooh, what is like under here? Gross. Like look at that texture. What moisturizer would you recommend for extra oily skin? Well, an oil-free moisturizer. But of course you want to use a gentle cleanser. You want to be exfoliating. You want to make sure that you are exfoliating is big, man. Cause the overproduction of sebum in your skin is what I believe is causing the oiliness that you are seeing. So if you are exfoliating, cleaning out those pores on a regular basis, regular to you could be every other day, every three days. And that's all I got, girl. Once again, I am learning more and more about skincare every day. And I share what I can with you. If I made a mistake, don't hold me to the cross. Make sure you watch the rest of my videos. And as always, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for watching and make sure you are subscribed. Bye.